Good evening, people. Thank you for staying with us on Crossfire. So there's, we've just received a statement from Salim Lon, his advisor to NASA leader, Raila Odinga. And it's, it's actually very interesting. He says, quote, if the court had had, had had access to the server, then Odinga would have been sworn in as president a long time ago, uh, probably referring to the August uh, 8th general election. And he goes ahead to say that NASA has now obtained the logs from the server which recorded the voting results from each county and from each polling station in the country. The figures show that Mr. Odinga comfortably won the election by over a million votes. So it was the loser, Uhuru Kenyatta, who was fraudulently declared the winner by the Electoral Commission. The swearing in of Mr. Odinga as president and of Kalonzo Musioka as deputy president would have been perfectly legal on Tuesday, and it will be perfectly legal when it does happen. Quick reaction, Weda. And those elections were nullified. Why, they, why do they want just to cheat Kenyans? Oh, Saba. Those elections, whether there was server or no server, were nullified. Then the likes of Salim Lone and the rest, they gathered in a corner somewhere while sipping tea, and they encouraged Jacob not to contest again. Now Jacob has no results to rely on. Let us not mislead Kenyans about server, about what, about that. The August eighth election was nullified by the court. Whoever is relying on it is Dandy. simply saying the court made a mistake and if they really knew they won and they were relying on those, they would not have gone to court to nullify. They would have just sworn themselves. So this time they have made a mistake. How to get out of that mistake they don't know. Mm. And they are trying all means. We are saying we want Kenya to move forward. Uh, Honorable Raila Dinga, if he wants to contest elections 2022, he can do so, or Honorable Musale Mudavadi, or Kalonzo Musioka. But now and then, I want to tell our people, there will be no elections. Just like I called them dancers when they were looking for, men, for, for votes, and I was saying, these dancers, they are not going to defeat these two young men. <laughs> and they were saying, oh, whether you are arrogant, you are bad, I'm it came to pass. I'm when they were there. saying, if they count, we count. We have servers in the, the cloud. Mm. All this I said, these are clangers. So you, think, so you think this statement is irrelevant? This, Whatever this it is, telling is just saying. To, to control the damage that damage the circus called swearing in has again been postponed. Because that's no, but true. it says, and it will be perfectly will legal when it happens. Ambrose, it enough. will not happen. Oh, it and I'm telling you, there will also be Ambrose, we have had enough of you. <laughs> when NASA comes up with additional evidence, because... Oh the Supreme Court was unable to follow up on their order that IEBC makes available the contents of the server, we can still pursue it and get it out. Now that we have got it out, now that it is in the public domain that President Huru Kenyatta did not win that very first election, it is clear that we know the people we are dealing with. When we said we are not going to go to an, another election with people who have gone to bed with our competitors, people who are no longer performing their independent mandate to carry a free and fair election, an election that we can verify that these are the actual votes. You know, when the Supreme Court ordered that they make the contents of the server public, what the Supreme Court was trying to do was to verify an election as is in Article 86, if I'm not wrong, mm. that the election must be verifiable. This order was not complied with by IEBC. And we thought through and said, OK, it is these very competitors of ours who are actually in bed with IEBC, and we don't have a fair referee to this election. Why do you go to play a match with no referee? That is what we felt we refused to do. And we will remain refusing it, even if they called it now. Until we have a free and fair referee, mm. we are not going to go to it. Because so, this Supreme Court you are expecting us to go to, when we are fraudulently beaten again, <laughs> is the same one I, IEBC and Jubilee refused to carry out its uh, orders okay. to make the contents of the server public. You, are uh, making uh, you, know, you know why? God Almighty, where are you? These people <laughs> celebrated the, the Supreme Court. Yeah. When the decision came and said, okay, Not we right. ask you to hire yes. to, 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 please allow me. Okay, I'm allowing uh, you, sir. This is Kenya. This is not Canaan where you talk freely. <laughs> uh, 
They celebrated. I saw Honorable Raila Odinga celebrating. I saw Honorable Dabad say, celebrating the Supreme Court, the Maraga, and everything. Then when Maraga said, go back for elections, they, they, as politicians, they knew they would lose. So they came up with the uh, social and political jargons, and then they escaped the elections. Now they realize they have nothing to talk about. Honorable Raila tried to say, look, there were only three million people who voted. The rest who didn't vote are my supporters. You know, a very fallacious and a very funny <laughs> reasoning. Mm. Then now they realize again that does not hold water. Then they say now, I'm swearing myself in. Okay. If you ask him on the basis of which results, mm. he says, they say, on the basis of those who didn't vote. Very ridiculous. Very okay. funny. You can, <coughs> no, only, no. you can only get sustained such arguments, maybe in the Middle East. Now, which Middle East? Where the? <laughs> the country where they were going among the Jebusites, the Perizzites, <laughs> the Hittites. So now, yeah. to quell the emotions of supporters, they are filling in information. Salim Noni comes and says, We have now opened the server. We have the server. Which server? Of Agast. Then they also say, No, they only got three million. All these things. What, what did they saying? actually do? When <clears throat> Even if they did, hmm. the elections were, those things were thrown out. They okay. became useless. Okay. Whether Uru won or Raila won, the court said all those are useless. Start again. And in the again one, they didn't participate. Okay. Now, President Uru, let's get the constitution. President Uru has no capacity, has no right or basis to call for any elections, even to dissolve IBC, even to bring in the electoral reforms. So that whoever wants those electoral reforms, you don't talk to President Uru. You talk to Parliament and you talk to the Supreme Court. Trying to talk to President Uru or at President Uru, shouting at him and shouting at uh, William Ruto, mm. is basically to draw attention so that you are called on the table. Then on the table you make some demands. We are <coughs> telling the President, so we gave you work and we want you to continue in the next five years. Work quickly so that by the time he finishes, he has done a good job, and we see whether Ruto should assume or we bring okay. in somebody else. Granted, but like, <coughs> like I mentioned, yes. NASA, the swearing in has been postponed, but now Salim Lund no says, swearing in. listen, last Salim Lund says the swearing in uh, may would have been perfectly legal on Tuesday, and it will be perfectly legal when it does happen. So in other words, their swearing in is probably on. is still on. So let's listen No, that's what you are saying, that we are just allowed it. still on. He Whether says the swearing in will be legal. <laughs> yes. It does not become legal because Salim Lone or When Nathan it happens, is. when it happens. Okay, listen. Let's listen into what Attorney General Gidu Mugai had to say on the same vis a vis James Orengo, Senior Counsel. The Constitution of Kenya provides, in clear terms, in Article 2, sub Article 2, that no person may claim or exercise state authority except as authorized under the Constitution. No person may claim or exercise state authority as ex as, except as authorized uh, by the Constitution. A swearing in of any person, any person, not lawfully declared to have won an election by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, and a swearing-in that is not conducted by the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya is a process wholly unanticipated by the Constitution and is null and void and illegal ab initio. I hope I have made that absolutely clear. Further, and in addition, the criminal law of the Republic of Kenya in Article 40 of the Penal Code provides or stipulates that that sort of process is high treason. For a civilian to be charged for an offense of treason under the law as it exists, even under the Colonial Penal Code, is not an easy offense uh, to prove. First, it entails the overthrow, or plotting to overthrow, and I emphasize the word overthrow, through unlawful means. And I emphasize the word unlawful, uh, the government of, of Kenya. Now, uh, uh, first of all, you, you, you must begin to get evidence that one is making preparation is, is planning in a concrete fashion to overthrow 
uh, the government through unconstitutional or unlawful means. And then the law of treason also requires that, you know, you must prove certain overt acts. And you need two witnesses to every overt act. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, that is a long shot. He's uh, using threats, and I think he's li living at, uh, uh, at a different type. We, uh, uh, Kenya is, still in, is, is, is not a colony anymore. It's treasonable, it's not treasonable. Owidi? Linda. I think, I think uh, Githu needs to go back to probably law school. What he has just read and told us nobody can exercise such authority. Raila is not exercising that authority yet. That is why he wants to be sworn in first, so that he can legally exercise that authority Githu Mwiga is talking about. Uh, these threats of high treason, and, uh, this is, these are words, these are semantics. This is the same guy who failed to advise parliament not to pass a law that will demand that anybody else can swear in the president. Today, when Raila Odinga is going to be sworn in by somebody else, now he has suddenly noticed where the law is. He has suddenly noticed the correct position of the Constitution, that it requires only the Chief Justice to swear in the President. Is it that law that they passed hurriedly, still there in the statute books? Huh, okay. Even the President came here to tell us, oh, you know, I didn't sign in because I he knew even if he didn't sign it, it will become law after the period elapses. So what is this thing of cheating everyone? Let them separate Kenyans into a group they can cheat on a daily basis and a group who knows what is going on. <laughs> Ambrose Veda sat here and told us how we celebrated when the Supreme Court nullified the initial election. We celebrated because we believed and hoped and expected that IEBC will follow the orders of the Supreme Court. But when they did not follow those orders, we chose not to get into a circus that they were going to call election that took place on 26th of okay. uh, September. Weda. That was no election, Weda. It wasn't. Allow me to react to the Attorney General. Please. The Attorney General, Professor Githo Megais, uh, was my You're teacher senior. and uh, my only employer <laughs> okay. when I was employed. Otherwise, him and, and uh, Mohamed Nyaoka. He's a brilliant man. Okay. Good. Good. One of the best <laughs> in this continent. Well now, he well, quoted. Please, like please, that. please listen. <laughs> he quoted the Constitution. Yes in a very eloquent and robust manner and said that thing that the, 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 <coughs> the NRM team are trying to do mm. is null and I void. I called it a circus, a mimicry of a swearing, some kind of a facade, and that is exactly what it is. Then Honorable Rengo, also a person I respect, except uh, a few instances when he misadvises Jacob on matters of law. <laughs> that is the time I have issues with him, like uh, advising him to boycott elections, or when he advised him to take uh, half a loaf in the uh, Nusumukati government, yet uh, Jacob only got a quarter. Th those times, I okay. have said it. And on this one? Uh, on this one, uh, he went into a totally different tangent. How do you prove treason? <laughs> treason. What the Attorney General said is that it is treason. treason. You will be arrested and arraigned in court. Okay. We don't want a situation, personally I would not like to see a situation where Jacob Mwenyewe, Aguambo, mm. while you are away, is arrested <laughs> and taken to committee. Only hey, misadvice uh, of people like Orengo that go and swear yourself in and then you are arrested. Can't arrest he can actually be arrested no. for treason. Whether or not it can be proved depends on the witnesses lined up. What I can say up to this stage, Honorable Orengo, please tell Honorable Raila to leave out this circus uh. of Hati being sworn in. That is a joke. Okay. And I'm telling their supporters, some of which are my friends, some are my relatives, this Part two of the journey to Canaan is a circus. Okay. Let them stop and let's get to work. Part one was okay. Part one, they were looking for votes. Okay, so part two. And when things working. went wrong, they went to Supreme Court and they got orders. Then after that, they started now the, the movie. <laughs> and that movie now is turning into horror, into a circus, into a war. Okay. And I'm telling them, President Uhuru has been sworn in. Yeah. He has started his second and final term. 
He has, cannot nullify any elections. He cannot call for any elections. He cannot shorten his term. So anybody thinking he wants to talk to him, they can talk to him looking for jobs. Okay. I know he has power. He can give people jobs. That is okay. But demanding those jobs in the form of electoral reforms, not that working. will not work. All right. So let's listen to Odwar when He's an NRM member. Um, he had a press the other day. Let's listen a little bit to what he had to say about electoral reform. And now one of two. The second, the one that... Of elections under a new electoral regime, or if that can't happen, then Kenyans can decide that uh, we are not compatible and therefore we part ways. <laughs> so... <laughs> Ambrose, what is it? Okay. <laughs> oh, we, we have electoral reforms or Kenyans can decide we part ways. Let me tell you. <laughs> God Almighty. President Uru Kenyatta <laughs> and his whole team, yeah. from Matiangi to William Ruto up to himself, mm. they have the benefit of having the law enforcers on their side partisan. They have the army on their side. So they can toss us around circumventing the law the way they want, uh, pushing anybody to the wall the way they want because we all know that there was no free and fair election. So we are telling them, mm. they did not invite us into Kenya to come and live in their house, to come and live with them so that they can toss us around the one. We are not their slaves. If it is impossible for us to cohabit in this small country called Kenya, we can also create a peace for ourselves. We have already had uh, something going on about that. As we told you earlier, there are many ways of dealing with this scenario in which a few people want to remain in power forever. I already hear him talking about Raila Odinga should wait for 2022 mm. not to talk to the candidate then, but to talk to one William Ruto. They have made this thing something for them too. They can have it like a ping pong, Ruto, Uru, Ruto, Uru, you know, so it's either in their answers. But I can also tell them for free. When Kenyans were voting, they voted Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Muzioka. The others voted Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. Not only Uhuru Kenyatta. As we sit here today, William Ruto has been voted for twice by Jubilee supporters. Anybody else from Jubilee can run on that ticket. In fact, completely different too without even Ruto. So don't tell us about we will have, you will have to go and negotiate with Ruto. We can negotiate even with Kabogo and Gideon Moy. We can negotiate with Kabogo and Odoyo Widi. We can negotiate with anybody who okay. will be on one ticket in 2022. But again, telling candidates to be the one to go and negotiate about electoral reforms, uh. I think that is unfortunate. It should be done now when there is nothing to lose, so when the temperatures reforms, are not so high. Oh, we go out separate ways. Weda, final word. What I can say is that uh, uh, this drama and this hype that the country is so divided, uh, by March next year, it is over. Mm. Now that December we want to do festivities, then we want to get children to form one, and uh, we will be very busy. Then February it will die down. Many have died down. I, I, we've seen it. They so all these electoral reforms. So all the electoral ways. reforms, I thank the president that he was very forthright and straight. He cannot himself talk about electoral reforms. We go our separate ways. Uh, himself. You can only talk to the next people who will be running. And I think he will not be running. Honorable William Ruto will be running. So whoever wants electoral reforms will talk to those people or talk to parliament or talk to. Going our separate ways. That is what I would call in Luo that you used to want to scare the dude. <laughs> so some kind of scarecrow. Will you do this to us? Or we go our separate way. Nobody wants to go and say, we are so intertwined as a country. Uh -huh. Those who are talking like that, eh? Yeah. If you ask them to leave Nairobi even for Kisumu, mm. they don't go. They say, I I'll die here. So going our separate ways is not on the agenda. If you want to divide the country, yeah. first of all, you will have to fight 20 years. Look at Bosnia, Eritrea, 20 years, then okay. we go for United Nations mm. arbitration, then so on. And these guys are cowards. They have never fought anything. So we are here together as a nation. We will fight elections. We will do any electoral reforms that are necessary. Threats, let us keep them aside. God Almighty should continue uniting us the way he has united us. Just okay. look at the way Owen is laughing with me. Okay. And there's a Nazarite, there's a Canaanite, <laughs> and I'm a Kenyan. I need to
and I don't insist that it comes with a passport. So we are united. I need, I need it is a few leaders. Okay. That's and a they good better retire. Those who are old should retire quickly. That's yes. a good place to end yes. this I'm conversation. I'm not saying anything. No, you're no. not. Because I need to wrap this up. Okay. But thank you so much for your time, Modoyo. We're the political analyst. And Ambrose Weda, who's a lawyer and a political analyst as well. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. And for always being part of Crossfire, we appreciate your time. Thank you. People, let's leave it at that. On that note, I'm Linda Gutu. Have a good night. Ivono Karamatole is up next with Checkpoint at 9 p.m.